Hello and welcome to another episode of The Distinguished Geek. So, as promised in the last episode, um, I said that I'll try and find uh, a more pleasant day to actually try out the drone. Um, this is it. This is the, <laughs> the best day I've had all week. Uh, I've been off all week and it's been raining. Um, and it's still raining today, but it's breaking the weather. So, um, I don't think it will get any better than this really. Um, it is February and it is Cornwall. Um, so I don't think you'll get anything better than this. So, um, what I'll do, if I show you the drone, I've got it all set up. Um, so this is a drone here, as you can see, it's all there. Um, get better angle, there we are. So if you turn it on, you'll see, you'll only know if it works, because under all those, see those little sort of coloured cylinders, they flash, and if they flash, it means it works. So let's turn on and show you. So, bear with me. It's a bit hard to do this one-handed, but uh, here we go, right, so, there we are. Flash, 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 flash. There we are, so that means it's working. Right, so, better turn it off because I only have eight minutes of battery on this, as I said in the previous episode. Um, so, so, before we fly, I need to uh, update you guys on laws and regulations. So, I was unaware of this, um, but if you, I think if you Google or you do something, you'll find your sp spiels of just laws and regulations about flying drones. One of them is actually flying in your back garden. I'm not allowed to do this. Um, because of breaching privacy and um, data protection and all stuff. So someone along the line, someone's probably ruined it for one of us. I know people have used to fly drones up to people's windows and spy on them and see them get changed and stuff like that. So for that reason, you can't do it. So I've actually asked my neighbors if they don't mind me flying the drone and they're all, they're fine. But even so, I'm only flying it up to the level of the fencing, uh, no higher, so I can't, um, breach privacy. Um, apparently, there's an instant fine. I don't know how much, but uh, if you get if you get um, uh, caught or someone dobs you in in the way, I'm not sure. You can get fined. Um, so that's one of them. The other one is and that even also works in open spaces in parks. You can't be near somebody, so you kind of restrict the way you can fly them. So make sure before you fly a drone, know the law and regulations on it. The other one is make sure you don't fly in a flight path. Now, they're not going to go that high. Some drones probably do. But even so, make sure it doesn't go into a flight path of a plane. We have an airport in Newquay and it's not far from here. So we are on a flight path. Um, so be careful. You're not flying them there. Um, power lines is the other one. Um, and there's, there's a lot more. But that's, that's, that's the main ones you've got to be aware of when flying a drone. Uh, right, so... Should we be able to go? Yeah, okay. I've had a go at this before, just to try it out, and I failed, um, so it's quite hard. Um, there's lots to do on the control. We'll show you, actually, so if we walk this way. Okay, so nice little track down here. I'll show you. Oh, excuse me. Righty, 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 yo. So, this is the control, and you can see there's loads of little buttons around there so like one there one up there so they are there to control or counteract the wind pushing the drone so um you can swivel the blades and and, and almost steer it so you you need to look at the manual because there's ways of doing it but by pushing these you can kind of counteract um the wind um force against the drone um that's yeah that's one of them so the other one is on the back here as you can see now it's, I'm not sure how it shows on the camera, I'm, I'm rubbish on, on angles and that, but on my right, which is, uh, it's, it should say, the flip, which means the f you can literally flip the drone. You push a button, it should just do, do a flip. Now, I won't be able to do it today because I'm not high enough. You need to get to a nice height and you can flip the drone. Um, I think I'll do that on another vlog again in the future when I can get to a, a, you know, a larger space. Uh, but that's really good. The other one is on the left hand side is the speed. Um, so you can, you've got three settings. 
So I think it's 40, 60 and 100. Now what they do suggest is to try this on a 40% setting, learn to fly the drone on a 40% setting and then gradually increase it to 100 um, because it is quite sensitive to control it and quite hard to control. Um, so I would rather, yeah, so I, I would suggest to, um, yeah, do on 40. I still struggle on 40%, but I think it's because also I'm restricted to the fence level, so I'm... I've got no actual freedom in the drone, which means I'm trying to make sure I don't go too high at the same time, try and control it. And so, yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Now, the controller takes AA batteries, it takes four. You can put rechargeable batteries. Um, I've just got your standard, standard LR6 um, AA batteries. Um, for some reason, it does say do not put alkaline batteries in there. I don't know the reason why, I didn't read that far enough, but it does say do not put uh, alkaline batteries. Battery wise on the drone, it takes 60 minutes to charge. Uh, when you plug it in to the charger, there'll be a red light on the charger. When it goes out, that means it's charged. Um, make sure you do not exceed the 60 minutes. Uh, it just really harms batteries, so make sure it's 60 minutes. So sometimes they do say the light won't go out, but if you know roughly it's been 60 minutes, take it as fully charged. Sometimes the lights won't go out, um, but mine has so far, so it's really good. Um, you know when this is working because you do this. Woo, there you are. So, um, yep, so that's working. Right, should we give it a go? Yeah, all right. Can't promise anything, it's gonna be great, but we'll give it a go. Uh, I even try, and if I can try and hover it, I'll take a photograph and a video of myself and then Maybe I can download it and we'll see what the quality is like, but um, we'll give it a go. Right, here we go. Okay, so let's have a go and see what happens. Right, let's take off. Wow, look. Oh, oh. Too light, too light, way. Right, here we go. I'm trying to, so it seems like I am having trouble trying to keep a hovering because it's like really sensitive. So it's taking off. I've got to get some power, but it's oh. It's like, there we go, there we go. It's trying to get the right power because it's 40% and it's, it's just not strong enough to um, to hover and move because as soon as I start reducing the um, hang on, look at the camera. So as soon as I start reducing the uh, the power, just just to stop it going too high, I lose all function. So I am at forty percent. So maybe I should go to sixty. But problem is that I'm really it would be too easy to just lose over the fences. Luckily my neighbours are here and I can just climb in, well, the, uh, the levee in and get, get the, uh, the drone. We'll give it another go and see what it looks like. I haven't had a chance to actually hover and take a photograph or a, a video because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating too much to keep it below the fences and sort of in camera. Yeah. Let's go. Right, so I've actually set it to one speed higher. Let's see what it does. It's done nothing. Let's try it again. Okay. So I'm gonna 
just wait for this to set itself. Right, I'm going to turn it off. Turn my phone again. That's better. That's a better sign. Right, here we go. Let's see what this does. See, it's because I, I haven't got free roaming. That's the problem. It's hey, stop, 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 stop. It's because I am trying to keep it below the fence, and it's just oh, come on. Give it another go, see what happens. Come on, come on, take off. It's that hovering. There we go, it's just controlling it and... Nope. Right, so now this is right. So this is the, uh, the problem now because this this is now telling me that the battery is almost used up. So that's the problem with, with the eight minute battery. It, it's, it, they're, they're cheap enough. So go to Hawkins Bazaar. Uh, I think you can buy them off eBay and, and buy several packs. They're quite cheap. Charge them up. Like I said, they take sixty minutes. Charge all the packs up and then take them with you. And then you've got, I don't know, you should have, by enough, so you can have at least, at least half an hour's flight. Um, just, keep, just keep changing the batteries over. Um, right, okay, so I've got a few more battery life in here to have another go, see what I can do. Again, I'll try and take a video or a photograph of the session from here. I can't guarantee that I can download it and somehow edit it onto the thing, but we'll give it a go. All right, quite cool. I really want to get to open space and just let this one rip and just, just see what we can do. Um, but that'll be another another day. Right, here we go. Right, I've taken the photograph. That was all right. And I'm filming now. Hey, look at that. Too high. Oh, almost. Right, here we go. So that was cool. So I was managed to take a snapshot and have a little bit of filming. Um, so let's hope it's done something. Wee, that wind took that one then. It was like, you know, felt like we were... No, 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 go no, no, almost. Oh, God. Right. I need to hire somebody to keep picking this up for me. Some lazy. Try it again. Yeah, it's running out of power now, so one of the motors is not turning. Oh no, it's right. It does counteract itself, so 
Well, so essentially, if the drone is at an angle um, or it's upside down, the rotors won't work. So it's kind of like a, a fail safe. Um, so I've, I've, uh, I've, uh, yeah, I've noticed that. So that's quite cool. So at least I'm like smack it to something. Um, but it's also sometimes it is a sign to say that it's batteries are running low, so the motors aren't running at full capacity. Um, I may have one more try of this before the battery is completely dead. Let's go there. Right, let's go again. Right, last one, and then we'll call it a day because it's literally running out. Here we go. Hey, uh, I've just learned I can actually spin it. So, it's gonna take some time to learn this, but I've just realized that I can oscillate the actual uh, drone in midair. Uh, it could be just a fluke, but I think I knew know how I did it. So we'll give that a go next time. But that thing's now, I haven't got enough power to lift it anymore. So yeah. So I think next one, next drone episode, I think will be in a, I think I'll do in a bigger field and we can literally see if the drone can, how this drone can work. So cool guys. Right. Uh, if you're new to the channel, um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please, uh, like, uh, share and subscribe. Uh, I've got a few more episodes, uh, on this, uh, channel, more like a year on year. Uh, about Marvel history and I think I've got a few on there uh, me playing a game of Uncharted Lost Legacy um, but um, thanks guys for watching um, and I shall catch you next time goodbye <laughs>